Hi guys, welcome to Memphis Motors and here's another video tour. Um, today we've got the BMW 7 Series. It's a 730D M Sport Auto and it really is, it's a lovely car. It's just coming to stock with us. It looks great there in the imperial blue. It's got the contrast ivory uh, white leather seats. It really is a stunning car. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a quick wander around the car once, then we'll go back around it again in a little bit more detail, just run through the kind of the spec and any imperfections. Um, yeah, so here we go, let's go for it. So we're just finding these video tours really useful. So many of our customers now are looking to buy cars from us online uh, with us delivering them to you. And we're just thinking if you've got a video tour, you've seen it firsthand, it's really nice. It's a lot of money to spend, but the day the car comes and it arrives, you kind of don't have that panic that you've missed anything or you've been missold or the photos have misled you. If you've seen the video tour, it's a, you kind of can enjoy the day without that sort of trepidation that you've missed something. Equally, we love people coming here. Uh, we buy appointment, but you're more than welcome to come down, look at the car, test drive it. But we recognize, you know, there's a, a cost involved in that and a time element. So again, if you've seen the video, it just helps you perhaps sort of rule the car in or out in terms of whether you actually want to come. So yeah, stunning car, really low on the miles. It's only done, we'll check it inside. I think it's done like 33,000 miles. So super low on the miles. Um, and so, yeah, and you can tell that through the condition as we go around it. Just before I get really into the video, all our cars, including this one obviously, go for a 41 point health check with our technicians to make sure they're safe, make sure anything that needs doing is done. Um, this car has recently just been serviced. So um, we've got the service history with it, but it's just been done very recently. I uh, checked the paperwork earlier. Also, it's got a long MOT that runs through till July of 2024. So with us, you know you've got the health check, you know it's got a great history, it's just been serviced, you know it's got a long MOT, um, and also we sell it with a three month warranty, which you can extend if you want, so just there you go. But it just kind of gives you the peace of mind if you're buying with us here, you know your money's kind of well spent. So right, here we go, let's get into it. So if we start on the windscreen, quite a lot of glare in the, the warehouse with the floodlights, it's hard for you to perhaps see, but very clean on the windscreen, no issues at all, we've got the sensors up there in the middle, but no chips or cracks in that at all. So nothing that's gonna mean that needs replacing or be an MOT issue. Still got a BMW badge, so probably an original screen on it, but looking really, really good. Coming down the front of the car, got this lovely big bonnet on the 7 Series. I was just talking to my colleague actually, it's really interesting if you look at the evolution of the 7 Series. If you look at the first ever ones versus what they've got now, they're, you know, they're, other than being sort of similar dimensions, they're such different cars, but they really have evolved and it just is a really gorgeous car. Look at that big grille on the front. Bonnet looking lovely, no scratches on that at all. Very, very clean paintwork all along. We just run down the edge, really clean. Now it's only covered a few miles, isn't it? So we're not expecting to see any or many stone chips at all. These are a couple of dead bugs, courtesy of the, the world on the way back from the, the Valitas. The odd little stone chip here and there. Nothing major at all. What's that there? Little, little bit of a stone chip there. But they really are minor. We take a step back from the car and you can barely see them at all. So, um, yeah, just use sort of your normal kind of wear and tear at the front. Headlights, Xenon lights with white day running lights, which run the whole way around the, the, the lens. And they look fantastic on the road. Actually, they're a very nice contrast with the blue. Those white lights pop out against the blue. But again, look at that big grill. But very, very clean. Parking sensors at the front. Nice and... Nice and fresh there. Coming down to the lower valance, very good. A couple of little marks on the bottom in that middle section just there. Nothing crazy, probably just a couple of speed bumps have just sort of made a couple of small marks and indentations on the bottom. But again, look, you know, you come away from it, you can't see it. It's only because I'm getting really low on the car. Um, it's a relatively low car actually, so it's always gonna kind of catch on something I would have thought. Very, very good indeed. We've got our camera just here. That's just a bit of dirt there. We can get that off the camera on the side which is fantastic, it's so good to have the cameras. They make such a difference when you're driving and parking. There we go, we've got the other one just there. These white bits here, I say we can get it off, actually, it's just a little bit of the lacquer come off there. So we can always touch that back in, but just a little bit of white there, but these cameras are working great. Looking down the driver's side, nice and clean and straight, no dings, no dents. Shut lines are all where we want them to be. Car is HPI clear, so if you want a copy of that, do let us know, we can always get that over to you. We start here on the front alloy. Now, tyres and brakes, visual inspection from me doing this, they look great, they look very, very good. Obviously, it's not long been through an MOT, but again, it'll all be checked with our, with our guys um, in the workshop. So if they need doing, they'll be done. Sitting here on good years on the front, so nice to see a branded tyre on it. It's what you'd expect on a nice car like this, but it's always good to see it. I think if you see it on budgets, you start to concern about things, but no, very good. 
Discs looking good. Alloy's looking in not bad condition. A few little scuffs on it. If you just work around it on this camera, you can just sort of see the odd scuff on it here and there. So by no means kind of crying out for a refurb, but there are a few scuffs, just a little B&W caps in the middle as well. Just starting to maybe sort of show a bit of signs there. Maybe could do with replacing those, but nothing too much to worry about. Coming down the side of the car, love this kind of like little chrome flicker here. It's just nice, good way of identifying a seven series. Wing mirror, very good. You come down the body, it's really nice. The paint's so fresh. I'm not sure whether the car's been garaged or not, but certainly the paintwork is faring so well on it. Get really close, nice and clean down the side. Coming down here on the shut line, very good. Minor mark there, but I'm being really anal. The whole idea of these videos, we want you to see what we see. So it's not we're trying to not sell the car. We just want you to be absolutely aware of what we're seeing. Privacy glass at the back. Looks cool, nice contrast, but again, it's, you know, practical if you've got children in the back, for example, to keep the sun off them. Very clean, all the paintwork's so clean. Really, really clean. Rear quarter, big rear bumper. I love the bums on these, they are just cool, aren't they? They're big cars, they really are, they're, you know, but they're great, you know, you so much space in them, you can still use them every day, they're not so big that they become hard to drive. Rear alloy, great condition, that one. Um, can I see a mark on it? I don't think so. I think it's pretty much, I'm gonna call it perfect. Maybe the odd mark I've missed, but overall pretty good. Disc's looking good through there as well. And again, I can't see, where's the tire brand? I think we're on another good year there. Yeah, we're on another good year. So it looks like we've got matching tires all the way around. So it's a good sign. Rear of the car, nice, isn't it? They are good looking cars. They really are. Boot lid's looking good here, no issues at all. We've got massive floodlights pouring on the side of this car from the side of the warehouse here. So you're gonna see absolutely everything, which is good. We want you to, but very, very clean. LED lights at the back, down here on the load shelf. I'm having a few drips from the valeters, no issues at all. That's just all drips there. Is that a little, little bit of a mark just there? Other than that, these are just drips. Yep, yeah, very good reversing camera. There's a little bit of a scratch just here. Just running along my finger there. It looks a million times worse on the camera. It's actually not too bad. You could probably polish that out or buff it in a little bit. It's it's not it's not really into the paint. It's pretty light, but yeah, a little bit of a scratch there. Come away from it. It's quite hard to see, but just bear that in mind. Down the passenger side, nice and clean, nice and straight, just like the driver's side. Rear alloy, again another good year. So three out of three so far, all matching. Alloy wheel, a few little scuffs on that one. Again, nothing crazy, but just work around the wheel. You can just sort of see from the camera, there are a few little scuffs on it. Rear door, very good indeed. Most of what I can see is just drips from where it's been at the, the Valitas, but very, very close. Very, sorry, very good, sorry. Down here on the passenger side, lovely and clean. Looking down, the paint work, look, it's lovely and straight. Like I say, just got a few drips from the Valitas. But very good indeed. Nice. And then here we go onto the front alloy. Again, another good year. So all tyres match, all tyres branded. And yeah, a few little scuffs on that. But again, like the rest, nothing major. It seems that the back driver's tyre is uh, alloy is perfect. And the rest are pretty much good. Just a few little light scuffs. So there we go. That's the outside of the BMW. Let's go and have a look in the inside. It's got loads of extras on this car. Um, there's a lot going on with it. So I'll try and capture as much as I can no doubt I'll probably miss a few bits so just you know have a really good read of the advert but it's such a nice spec car so here we go they've got ivory white leather over there on the passenger side such nice condition got the two keys there but really really nice it's it's obviously been well looked after look come down here on the bolster very nice on the driver's bolster there's hardly any signs of wear it really is lovely let's just jump inside so car smells good, you know, no signs of sort of animals or smoking, it's, you know, to me, it smells good, it smells fresh. Um, I know smell is a personal thing, but it smells okay. Uh, two keys, two main keys, so foot on the brake, let's start it up. Uh, service due in 3,200 miles, so I'll check that because the service record is saying that this car has been serviced literally within the last one or 2,000 miles, so I'll just check that. If it needs a service, we'll do it, but by all accounts, and I will double check, it's showing it's just been serviced, but they are done on a timer. 
So it might be that it will service, obviously the mileage is low, so the mileage doesn't need a service, but it may say, well look, in terms of time, it does need a service. So we'll figure that out, if it needs it, we'll do it. Um, 33,416 uh, miles, so lovely mileage. Nice lit up display there. Um, car drives great, I've driven this, it's so together. Steering straight, braking straight, loads of power. Um, gearbox is very good, nice and smooth. So yeah, it's a really nice car to be in. Steering wheel, not too bad. A few little bits of uh, wear as you go around it, but nothing major. They could just do a little bit of a polish up. But yeah, very good. They do wear well. But yeah, it's a little bit of wear at the top there. But you know, probably like I say, just could do a little bit of a polish, but we'll take care of that, but nothing major. Volume over here, cruise control over here. Uh, we've got the flappy paddles, which is always a nice feature to have. We've got electronic operated sort of steering wheel in terms of sort of like moving it up and down. Over here, we've got automatic lights. We've got folding wing mirrors. Uh, we've got electric memory seats, just to let you know, on the driver's and the passenger side. Up here, really nice multimedia, um, standard really. You know, we've got obviously the DVD, uh, music collection. You can stream your own music to the car through your phone. Um, you can also uh, obviously do your hands free for your telephone to sort of talk to people. Dab radio, uh, FM and AM, which is great. Um, satellite navigation, working well, checked it earlier. So let's go to the map. So yeah, all working very nicely indeed. Nice big display as well. Um, so yeah, there's loads of things going on here. I mean, it's uh, obviously, I could fiddle for ages, but there's lots of different settings on here, all working well. Coming down the car, really, really nice. Heated seats, air conditioning, aircon's working really well. Then we go down here, really nice kind of like walnut effect along here. You've got your camera operation, so you press that button there. Now your front and rear cameras, just giving you a bit more of an idea. And the nice thing with this, if you go into reverse, um, you actually get, what, what, what am I doing wrong? Oh, there you go. You actually get the overhead 360 view. So that's obviously the car there, and this is all the surroundings in the warehouse. It's got the overhead 360 view, which is such a helpful thing. If you've had it before, you kind of can't live without it, but if you haven't, it's one of those things, once you get used to it, you really will enjoy it. Everything's good, got our sport mode, electronic gearbox, everything working really, really well. Along here, armrest, great condition, no issues at all. Just have a quick look inside. We've got our unlock for our, our car and our boot. Down here, we've got USB and AUX connection. So all very, very nice indeed. And we've got a long, here we've got this leather stitch dash, again with the walnut versus the cream contrast, uh, the, with the ivory, the ivory contrast, should I say. So it's a really nice place to be. Very, very clean. And then up top, we've got a darker lining, which actually is nice, I think, because you've got a light interior. I think a light lining would be too much. It's nice to have that contrast. Very clean, no issues at all. In the rear, and I love this about the rear, we've got the TV screens. Again, they would have been an extra uh, when this car was sort of first sort of made. A customer would have added it as an extra. Really great, nice, slick design. Got the headphones in the office for them. Um, if you've got kids, they are invaluable. Loads of space in the rear. I think that's a big feature of the 7 Series is the space you get over a 5 Series. Heated seats for your passengers. They've got their own sort of aux connection. They've got their own aircon control system. And the seats are lovely. Really nice condition. Doesn't look like it's had a huge amount of wear. Very, very clean indeed. If we just come around that. We've got the power boot on it, which works well. There's the boxes for the headphones, but the actual headphones are in the office. Nice and clean, nice big boot on the 7 Series as well. So it's a practical car that makes a big difference. Just check that works okay, I'm sure it does. There we go. Yeah, lovely, with the soft clothes on it as well. So there we go, that is the 7 Series. I hope this helps, hope this video is useful. If you want more specific areas of the car film, let us know. We can sort of film extra bits, photograph extra bits. It's not a problem. If you're looking at delivery, just get us your postcode. We'll give you an idea on ETA um, and a price for delivery. If you're looking to come and see the car, let us know when. We are by appointment. So uh, please don't just turn up. Let us know when you want to come. We'll get you booked in. Um, so yeah, give us a call. Message us, WhatsApp us, email us. We'll always come back to you. So in the meantime, thanks for taking the time to watch the video and hopefully you found it useful.